But our house is so dark and creepy. That should appeal to your imagination. <laughs> Just pretend you're inside the Radley house. <laughs> Such a peculiar mood these days. What the heck, Tate Death and politics. Don't be silly. He just came over to tell us they're moving Tom Robinson to the county jail. What book are you going to read to Mr. Bubbs? Ivanhoe. Why would you want me to read out loud? Seems like your father wasn't surprised. Why would he be? Ask him. Ask me what? Oh. Nothing. Yeah, you children will probably be in bed before I get back, so. I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight now. Well, where are you going, sir? Out. What are you doing with that chair? Might have use for it. You take care of them, Cal. I do my best, Mr. Fitch. You folks mind Cal, all right? Yes, sir. Of course. Yeah. Cal, where's he going? I can make a guess, only I won't. And it's almost dinner time. You three get in and get washed up. I really need a wash. <laughs> Mom, for you, that's what Cal minds most. I wonder why I have to spring the chair with him. What else the heck, Tate Mom? Well, he was going off about moving Steele and I recounted all of the conversation we heard in the yard. Jim thought that. He hardly said a word through dinner. Then later, instead of going to bed, Jim said he thought he was going to go downtown for a while. I decided I was going along too, and there was no stopping Jim. We crept past Mr. Bose's place, the Radley house, and then onto the town square. When we got there, Dessert. We thought Atticus was probably just in his office, so we went there, but he wasn't. We were starting to get uneasy. We were crept around the corner by the courthouse. We noticed something strange. There was a jail cell, and then there was a lot. But what's going on? There he is. Oh, well, let's go ask him. No, Scout. We I shouldn't bother him right now. I just wanted to see where he was. We walked all this way to turn around, Jim. Shh. He can't hear no, me. No, no, no. Listen. It's cars, a lot of cars are coming. I wonder what's going on. There's so many. Get down. Get down and watch. What's happening? Be quiet. The way it looked to us, Atticus was quite calm. He seemed to be expecting exactly what was coming. And 
why'd everyone stop talking? Mr. Cunningham, what's the matter? There ain't nothing the matter, little lady. And I'll tell my boy you said hey. Come on, boys, let's get out of here. Come on, let's go now. They're going. Uh, I guess it looks that way. Can we go home now, Agnes? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, we can go home now. Atticus, I thought Mr. Cunningham was a friend. He still is. He just has his blind spots like the rest of us. He was just about to hurt you. That's because he was part of a mob. But a mob still made of people, and Mr. Cunningham is still a man. What you children did, you made him remember that. Mr. Finch, they gone? They're gone, Tom. Thank you, Mr. Finch. You know, Tom, we got a pretty busy day ahead of us. You better get some sleep. You better get some sleep, too. That's my intention. Good night, Tom. Mr. Finch, can I carry your chair for you? Well, thank you very much, son. Articus, can we go to sleep now? You know, you two don't mind very well. What was it you said we did to Mr. Cunningham again? You made him stand in my shoes for a minute.